Hey, this is Brenda Cole with the Cole Real Estate Team at Keller Williams Winter Park here in Orlando, Florida. And it is a beautiful day to do home improvement. <laughs> Today's project is screening sections of our pool screen enclosure. My granddaughter, my sweet granddaughter Vera, recently ran her bicycle into, you can point at that, not this one, but the one on the other side and punched it out, okay? Uh, I needed to get it replaced because all kinds of dirt and debris was coming into the pool area. So I called the screen company, got a quote to replace it, as well as a number of other screens. Here's one right here, it needs to be replaced because the spline has come out. So um, you can see this one's very loose, needs to, needs to be replaced. There are some on, you know, that have holes in them. And I think the quote was like $1,500. I have spent so far maybe $70 um, buying a roll of this Florida glass still have quite a bit left. I bought this splining tool and it was what you use to push the spline into place. These clips that hold the screen in place are very, very helpful. Bought those on Amazon. The other items that you need to remove old spline is a sharp object. This is my ice pick. You need little like nipper tools. You need pliers to pull out old spline because it doesn't come out easily. You need a box cutter for trimming away the excess screening. And you need a screwdriver. Definitely need a cup of coffee. Because okay. I'm not fast. <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna remove the old spline. So I start it with the little pointy um, ice pick, and now you take it These aren't even really pliers. I think they're wire strippers or something. Okay, so there we go Okay, we're done with this. Don't need this anymore All right, so here's my pre-cut screen And you always want to allow about an inch all the way around so the first thing I do is I line it up. You want to be straight, punch in one of the clips. <laughs> okay, so there you go. It holds that screen in place very nicely. Getting the first one in, that's like the hardest part of this. So now you're gonna put the other one in. Okay, now you're gonna take your spining tool and you're gonna run it across You've got to use this flat spline, okay? It's flat black spline, and I don't think that there's really any difference in sizes or anything. So the spline has a rounded side and it has a flat side. The flat side goes toward the inside of the screen. There's, there's two grooves that the spline goes into when you put it down and then you actually add pressure using this tool to punch it into the other side. So anyway, if you can see that, that little piece is in place, okay? That little piece, and that's holding the screen in place. So I kind of work, and I stretch it a little bit because that helps it go in a little bit better. So as I pull it along, I kind of stretch the spline a little bit. And then as I'm pushing with the tool, so you use this flat side of the tool to push it into place. Again, I'm slowly pulling and pressing it into place. Then you just kind of go over it, making sure that it's all pushed into place, okay? it into place or sorry put it in the groove pull on it 
Now I remove this side clip and I'm gonna push that all the way. Put it in the track and then work on the top. Just kind of pushing it in, pushing it in. And again, sometimes just take it and force it in. Okay, people, ta-da. Was that so hard? The whole top side is done. I start on this side. Next, then I do this side. And then I do the bottom. Okay, so the last step, as you can see, the screen is in place. It's nice and tight here. Um, went in very easily. The last step is using a box cutter to uh, cut away the excess screen. So you're just gonna take it and put it on the outside and make sure your blade is sharp and just cut right against the spline there. Okay, and then you just go, okay. And you cut right up against the screen. Voila, we finished the screen. This one panel uh, went pretty fast. Cost of rescreening is your average small panel. It's about $30 for regular screen for a company to do it. Um, I'm recalling that maybe these were about $45 because the cost of materials is greater. So I did six panels. So 90 times $270 was probably a, a reasonable estimate for what I would have to pay, but my materials were less than $70 for the spline, the screen, and the tools that I needed. And obviously, once you have your tools, all you need is the screen and the spline. Okay, thanks for watching the video. A first and hopefully will be um, other home improvement videos from the Kroll team. And this is the one entitled any 68-year-old woman can do it. Have a great day. Bye.